Days are 50, the days are 49. The bill as amended is passed. Hey, 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 hey. That was excruciating, wasn't it? Watching Joe Manchin get his uh, $10 billion for broadband, because that's what he got. I don't know why people don't want to tell you that, but that's what he got. He got $10 billion for broadband. It was uh, added very late in the game, but it was added. <laughs> so that's uh, kind of what uh, Joe Manchin was holding out for. This, this whole BS about how he doesn't want the minority to lose their ability to contribute to a bill. You know, it's like we said, was he bending over some weird direction i don't know i don't even want that in your head or mine but was he doing it because he wanted the republicans to hate it less when they voted no (laughs) no he was holding out for some damn thing and you know there was an article last week it's not that i'm clairvoyant or anything there was an article in the newspaper about how debbie stabenow the senator from michigan and uh, Joe Manchin, the senator from West Virginia, wanted $8 billion for in tax credits for broadband expansion in their respective states. And I believe that that is what he got because it was written in at the very end. And uh, what else can you conclude? What else can you conclude? It doesn't really matter at this point. What matters is, is Joe Manchin gonna stay on this uh, you know, I, I need to make the bill more palatable to the Republicans so that they hate it m- less when they vote no. Or is he going to actually do the people's business? I don't know. But the Senate did pass the stimulus, okay? They did. And uh, I hope you're feeling stimulated. No? Going to wait for you 1400 is what it is? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it does seem like it took a long time. And and it would have happened a lot, you know, like two days earlier if we didn't have Ron Johnson, the moron, having the Senate clerks who work their behinds off uh, read the entire freaking thing out loud for, what, Republicans who can't read? I don't know. Uh, and if we didn't have Joe Manchin, uh, you know, behaving in this uh, sordid manner of his. You know, it's very interesting because the governor of West Virginia, Joe Manchin State, is a guy named Jim Justice. Now, Jim Justice ran as a Democrat, and then he got elected, and then he switched, and now he's the Republican governor. But Jim Justice was actually asked about, what do you think Joe Manchin is doing? And Jim Justice said, I have no idea what Joe Manchin is doing. Joe Manchin is a politician, okay? And I'm not. I'm a businessman. I don't have it. So I don't know. It did take a long time, it, it, you know, but it was $1.9 trillion and it did take less, less than 48 days, okay? About $38 billion per day. <laughs> you know, you want to put $1.9 trillion into perspective? Okay, let's put it to you this way. If Donald Trump had income of $1.9 trillion in a single year, he would have paid $750 in taxes. I'm serious. And the thing hasn't even passed the House yet. Uh, It will tomorrow. Tomorrow they'll take it up, and tomorrow they will pass it in the House. And the Wall Street Journal already has an editorial today. The editorial board of the Wall Street Journal, the COVID welfare state. (laughs) God help you if you get any money at all from, you know, all these taxes that you pay. God help you. You know, they never write the corporate welfare state. I've never seen that. They've never, I've never seen uh, the, the bill that pays off Republican donors. What, what, what is it with, why is it that when ordinary working people get a little bit of help making it through this last horror of a year, it's the COVID welfare state? You know, it's like there's never an egg timer around when you need one. They're already saying that. I just, I could not, I couldn't believe it. It, it was just the most vile thing. But of course, we voted for Joe Biden because we needed help. And he said help would be on the way. And it is on the way. It is. Millions of people out of work through no fault of their own. I want to emphasize that. Through no fault of their own. Food bank lines stretching for miles. Did any of you ever think you'd see that in America? No. In cities all across this country? Families facing the threat of eviction. 
This nation has suffered too much for much too long. And everything in this package is designed to relieve the suffering and to meet the most, most urgent needs of the nation and put us in a better position to prevail. Starting with beating this virus and vaccinating the country, the resources of this plan will be used to expand and speed up manufacturing and distribution of vaccines so we can get every single American vaccinated sooner than later. I believe by we'll have enough by the end of by the middle of May to vaccinate. It's going to take longer to get in their arms, but that's how much vaccine we'll have. That's bad. The Wall Street Journal needs to write it. Oh, you're going to get a free vaccine, everybody. You're going to get it. Oh, it's the welfare state. Oh, my God. I just I cannot I cannot believe that it, it didn't even pass yet. And they wrote this. So I said, the Wall Street Journal is a decent newspaper if you just stay away from the editorial page because it's vile. That is really disgusting. It's almost like they had it in the pipeline, you know, ready to go. Woo! <laughs> Launch it. Call everybody who managed to get through this and stay alive through the worst presidency in the history of these here United States. Okay? Tell them that they are now part of the COVID welfare state because through no fault of their own, they were thrown out of work. Because of through no fault of their own, they were told to hibernate in their house. Because through no fault of their own, their children had to be homeschooled and they didn't have any money for uh, 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 childcare anyway, okay? I mean, it just, uh, it's, uh, screw them. I, I just, it just, it really, really upset me. It really got me mad. I mean, it, you know, if Republicans had their way, it would be Lord of the Flies state. It would be survival of the fittest state. It's already survival of the fittest state here in Florida. Oh no, I shouldn't say that. Here it's like um, wealthy donors will get their, the wealthiest and most connected in the state will get their vaccines and everybody else can go to hell. That's what it is. But it, I, I just, I couldn't believe it. The journal, the, the Wall Street Journal actually said this, quote, the $1.9 trillion Democratic bill provides a guaranteed income unlinked to work. We all know that the Republican ideal is to have work unlinked to income, or as we like to call it, $7.25. That is, that's just so unbelievable. And Joe Manchin, what was he fighting for? Oh, he, uh, $400 a week is too much, too much. We have to lower it to $300. $300 a week is what he was angling for. And that, and that happened, but uh, we were able to do a couple of things with him. So now it's 300 in enhanced unemployment benefits, right? And that's in addition to whatever your state is paying. Uh, and it will last another another week, woohoo, <laughs> but $10,200 because people were going to get a surprise tax bill. You know, unemployment insurance is taxable. Can you believe that? It's like the, 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 the freaking richest Americans have every tax avoidance strategy legalized in the tax code but you get an unemployment benefit of you know three hundred dollars we're taking taxes so what the democrats were able to do was exempt the first ten thousand two hundred dollars from taxation so that people who through no fault of their own need to collect this money and have been collecting this money don't get hit with a surprise surprise tax bill and end up freaking out so Look, I don't know what the hell is going on with Joe Manchin. But at least he presents like a normal human being, unlike, let's say, Marjorie Taylor Greene or Ted Cruz. Or virtually any Republican. Because now they're going to tell us all, we're on welfare. <laughs> what? Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.